tall. Hands in our lap. Voices off. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in our video today. Middle Academy scholars will be able to sing and move to Warrior Cry, sing solfege and match pitch, discover jazz music, and then listen to a jazz song. <clears throat> our video should be pretty short today if we can get through everything quickly. And by we, I mean Mrs. Isles. All right, we're going to start by doing Warrior Cry. So everybody stand up, find your own space. We will do it just two times through, once Andante and once Allegro, so walking speed and then skipping. If you want to do more than that, if you want to start off and do Largo, or if you want to continue and go Presto on your own, you can pause the video here and do those on your own. We're just going to do two. Ready? Here we go. Hunk! Ale, ale, a hunk! Ale, ale, a tiki, tiki, tom, tom! Tiki, tiki, tom, tom! Bushka, bushka, bushka! Bushka, bushka, bushka! Now go a little faster, allegro, skipping speed. Ready? Here we go. Hook. Ale ale a hook. Ale ale a tiki tiki tom tom. Tiki tiki tom tom. Bushka bushka bushka. Bushka bushka bushka. All right, so like I said, if you want to continue on, do presto, slow down, do largo, pause it, do it on your own. <clears throat> All right, next we're going to sing some solfege, just to keep our vo our voices ready to sing at a moment's notice. So I'm going to sing some kind of pattern. You're going to copy me. You can add the hand symbols if you want. Here we go. Do, re, mi. Your turn. Do, re, mi. My turn. Mi, fa, so. Your turn. Mi, fa, so. My turn. So, la, so. Your turn. So, la, so. My turn. So, fa, mi. Your turn. So, fa, mi. My turn. So, so, la. Your turn. So, so, la. My turn. La, ti, do. Your turn. La ti do, my turn. Do re do, your turn. Do re do, my turn. Do ti la so, your turn. Do ti la so, my turn. Fa mi re do, your turn. Fa mi re do, my turn. Do ti do, your turn. Do ti do, my turn. Do, 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 your turn, do, do, do. Great. Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about jazz, and I'm just going to talk at, at you. I'm going to show you a couple pictures, um, and this will take us to the next, like, three videos after this. They're all going to be about jazz music. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about jazz, <clears throat> um, and if we were back in person, if we were meeting in the music room, we do a lot more with it, so I'm just doing a kind of a condensed version of jazz. So jazz is a style of music. There's a lot of different styles of music out there. There's rock, there's uh, hip hop, there's R&B, there's blues, there's country, there's classical, uh, there's pop, there's grunge, there's techno, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of music, and jazz is one of those. Um, jazz music combines African American music with European music. And I'd like to talk a little bit about how that happened. Um, so jazz music came from originally enslaved people in the Southern United States during the time of slavery. And when slaves um, lived in the Southern United States, they brought their traditions, their musical traditions with them. And then that combined with the European settlers that were also in that area and the two musics kind of converged kind of combined and over time developed and became what's now known as jazz music um we've talked briefly before about african-american spirituals and how that morphed into the blues and then the blues kind of split into r b and it came into jazz also um so it's i mean a beautiful thing came from something terrible which I think happens a lot of the time. 
Um, so yeah, jazz music came from the enslaved people who were forced to work in the southern United States. Uh, it first became popular on the 1910s in New Orleans, Louisiana. It is often called the home of jazz uh, because that's where it all started. <clears throat> and that's where I'd like to show you this first picture. Um, it's black and white, so it's not horribly easy to see. But you can see down here in the southern United States, we're up here in Minnesota, down here in Louisiana, New Orleans, that's where jazz music started. And then when uh, the enslaved people were freed, they started to move around the country to different areas. And that's kind of how jazz progressed. So a bunch of people moved to Chicago. So Chicago had a really big jazz scene. A bunch of people, people moved to New York and to Harlem. And there was a big jazz scene in Harlem. I've also heard, and that's not on this map, but um, they moved up to Detroit. Oh, maybe it is. Um, so there's a little bit of a jazz scene in Detroit, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and then over into like Los Angeles <clears throat> um, in California. So this is the home of jazz and then it spread and then it kind of spread into different styles also. Um, and that's why jazz music became as popular as it is because there were so many different styles of jazz music um, that kind of everybody back when it was first starting to get popular, everybody had something that they could listen to because there was so many different kinds. Um, uh, there's a lot of different instruments that you can play when you play jazz music, but I have this little printout of some of the more popular ones. So there's the drum set. So we have a bass drum, floor tom, um, high toms, and then a snare drum with some cymbals. So that's one of the, uh, I would say almost always a jazz ensemble has some kind of drum set. This is an upright bass. It looks like a violin, but it's super big, taller than me. Um, you play it standing up. Then we have piano, and there's two different styles of piano. This is called a grand piano, and this is called an upright piano. The upright piano is the kind that the music room has. Um, saxophone <clears throat> and trumpet. But you can play a lot of different instruments. Um, clarinet is a big instrument in jazz music. Trombones play in jazz music. So a lot of different instruments. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but those are the main ones that you see. Um, the music that I'm going to share with you at the end of class today, um, one is an example of ragtime jazz. And uh, that just uh, heavily uh, relies on syncopation. And piano is a big part of ragtime jazz which you'll hear. Um, so it's difficult to give an exact definition of jazz, like I said, because it's spread in so many different places into so many different kinds and so many different styles. But there's a singer called Nina Simone, who I have a picture of here. Somewhere in my pile of stuff. And Nina Simone says, jazz is not just music. It is a way of life. It is a way of being, a way of thinking. She was a very famous jazz musician. Um, I would probably honestly say my favorite to listen to is Nina Simone. Um, she has a lot of great songs. I put a spell on you. She did a great cover of um, one of my favorite songs of hers is one called Young, Gifted, and Black, which I recommend everybody listens to. It's just a gorgeous song. Uh, it's always a running through Mrs. Isle's head um, throughout the day. So, uh, like she said, it's, it's not just music. It's a way of living your life. It's a state of being, kind of. So it's something that you really feel inside of you once you really get in tune with jazz music. Uh, while I'm at it, I'll just show you some other very popular jazz musicians. Duke Ellington is one. He's a famous piano player. In our next music video, I'll share with you uh, one of his most popular songs. So he was a very famous piano player. Uh, another is Billie Holiday, who is a famous vocalist. She has some wonderful songs that we might get a chance to listen to. Uh, John Coltrane was a jazz musician who played saxophone, so he wasn't a singer um, like the other two were, the other two ladies, I guess. Duke Ellington sang occasionally. He was more, more known for his piano playing, but John Coltrane never sang. He played his saxophone. Uh, we have Miles Davis. Um, I read an article that uh, talked about how people who knew a lot about music 
did a vote and kind of had a discussion about who the number one best musician in jazz was of all time, and that was Miles Davis. He was known for playing the trumpet. We have Ella Fitzgerald, who was another famous vocalist. And then probably the most well-known of the jazz musicians, who is Louis Armstrong. Uh, one of the songs that I will share with you at the end of class today is performed by Louis Armstrong. He was a famous trumpet player and a famous singer. He was known for having kind of a raspy sounding voice. His nickname was Satchmo. And he grew up very poor and had to do odd handyman jobs around different people's homes to afford his first trumpet. Um, which I think is kind of a cool story. Okay, um, so one important part of jazz is something called improvisation. Improvisation means that you make it up as you go along. And we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, next week in our next week's video about something called scat singing, which we'll practice a little bit. Um, so if a jazz band's playing a song, um, the song may have several solos in it, and a solo is when one musician plays by his or herself, his or her or their selves. Um, so we might have a spot where, you know, the whole band's playing, and then suddenly all the instruments drop out, and there's just one player on the stage playing. Um, usually the piano, the drums, and the bass, upright bass, will play along with them. But that one soloist will kind of be spotlighted. Everybody's eyes are on them. And that person will improvise their song, um, make it up as they go along. Uh, jazz music is very rhythmic, which means you can really feel the beat. You can tap your toe to it really easy. Um, we use something called swing, which is kind of a do ba do ba do ba do Instead of straight eighth notes, it might go dee 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 If I swing those same eighth notes, it goes do be do be do be do be do be do be do There's just a little bit more weight, a little more heaviness on one part of the note. So you can listen for that as we listen to our songs today. Okay, so I think that's everything I have to say about jazz. It's just a, like I said, a condensed version um, of everything. I'm thinking back to in our last video where we talked about tempo, dynamics, articulation, instruments, and impact. Uh, I really want us today to focus on that impact. So I'm going to put two songs in the description below. The first song is called The Entertainer, which is an example of ragtime jazz. Heavy emphasis on piano music. And the other one is called St. Louis Blues um, or West End Blues. I haven't decided yet. I will decide as I post this video which of the two I'm going to post there. Um, so what I want you to do is choose one of those songs. And I want you to think about the impact, how the music affects you. Do you like it? Do you think it's okay? Do you not like it? All are, all are totally acceptable answers. Um, how does it make you feel as you listen to it? And what does it make you think about? If you want to add in and think about tempo, dynamics, articulation, and instrumentation, that's A-OK -okay too. Um, but really our goal today is to just kind of be introduced to maybe a style of music that you're not used to listening to. Because um, I just think, you know, being a, a human being, it's important to expose yourself to new things, new experiences, new walks of life. So um, maybe one step in that direction is just listening to a new style of music. All right, so you can click on the link, one of the links in the description below, your choice which one, and just, you know, enjoy listening to a little jazz music today. We only have one thing left to do today, and that is to do our train exit. So breathe with me, little academy. Here we go. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next week with more music.